development strategies and appraisal. In this module, you will learn about the development strategies adopted by India, China and Pakistan and their critical appraisal. Strategy is a term which includes taking a proactive approach that evaluates all activities based on how well the activity moves the business towards its core goal. It is an elaborate and systematic plan of action to achieve a particular goal. For example, Green Revolution was adopted as a strategy to increase the agricultural output. For strategic planning, it is very important that a country understands its plans and policies and also understands the plans and policies of its neighboring nations. This way, they can learn from the experiences of other countries and try to formulate their own policies. Structural reforms were introduced in China in 1978, even though there was no compulsion on its part to do so, unlike India and Pakistan, who were pressurized by the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund to initiate reforms. In China, under the Maoist rule, there was sluggish growth and lack of modernization. Mao Zedong had visualized economic development on the basis of decentralization, self-sufficiency and that too without foreign technology, goods or capital. Despite the extensive land reforms, much stress was laid on the collectivization under the Great Leap Forward and other such programs. The per capita grain production in 1978 was the same as it was in the year 1955. In Pakistan, the reforms did no good for the economy. The growth rate of GDP and its constituents have fallen in 1990s as compared to 1980s. Poverty rose during this period. During 1960s, the proportion of poor living below the poverty line was above 40%, which declined to 25% in 1980s and started rising again in 1990s. In Pakistan, the agricultural growth and food supply situation were not based on an institutionalized process but on a good harvest, which was a temporary feature and this resulted in the slow pace of economic growth and re-emergence of poverty in Pakistan. India also borrowed from IMF and the World Bank to meet its balance of payments crisis. Pakistan earns foreign exchange mostly in the form of remittances by Pakistani workers in the Middle East. Pakistan also exports agricultural products. The GDP growth rate was constant at 8% for three consecutive years, that is 2002 to 2005. All the three sectors, namely agriculture, manufacturing and services have contributed to this achievement. Let us recall what we have learned. Strategy refers to an elaborate and systematic plan of action to achieve a particular goal. The development strategies of an economy serve the purpose of a model to other nations and provide guidance in their own development. Reforms were introduced in 1978 in China, in 1988 in Pakistan and in 1991 in India. After more than five decades of planning, the results have been different for all the three nations. India's performance has been moderate with more than one-fourth of its population still living below the poverty line. Pakistan needs to lower its dependence on foreign remittances and foreign aid. China, on the contrary, succeeded in raising the level of growth. 